All right, chat, this seems cool. I, I didn't actually open up this article, so let's open it up and open it up now. All right, Stefan Castle on Popovich says he seems to speak very highly of me. Now, we did go over a clip in which Popovich was talking, it was during Summer League, and he was talking about Stefan Castle, how he, his expression doesn't change, and it really reminded me of, oh, sorry, I messed that up. This this guy right here, that guy. It, re, it reminded me of, of Kawhi Leonard, um, in that that's exactly how Popovich used to praise Kawhi Leonard. Like, he doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low, uh, calm and collected, smart player which i think stefan castle has at this at this age he has a higher basketball iq than Kawhi did uh but you know anyways let's go ahead and read let's see what we got here san Antonio spurs stefan castle has yet to play an official nba game but coach popovich is already praising the guard the spurs number four pick says he has already spoken with the long time head coach and has shown him how much confidence he has in young pro uh okay so here we go with the talks that i've had with him already he seems to speak very highly of me i have a lot of respect for him and i mean he just wants me to come out here and play with confidence so i've been doing that and for a coach like that to tell me that it kind of instills a lot of confidence in me too you know the, the spurs I, i'm not going to say we have a history of this okay but well, let's be we'll be honest here right we, we have quite a few players that have come through san antonio that didn't have a lot of confidence coming in right um you know as time goes on you know people talk about Derek white now and like how great Derek white is i've been praising Derek white for the longest but the one thing that was always wrong or the problem that he needed fixing was him not having confidence and it didn't come from greg popovich i think it came from a long history of teams overlooking them. I mean, just let's be honest. Okay, you look up his history; it it is a long. The fact that he made it to the NBA is almost a miracle because there were so many teams, so many scouts just just overlooking them, and that, that had to hurt his confidence, right? It, it had to, right? Not everybody's a Michael Jordan out here. Uh, Stephon Castle, he's one that already has that confidence. Um, he he all. Uh, actively made sure he didn't go to a team that already had an established point guard he he wants to be the guy uh that leads a team in that regard now with UConn he was able to take a more backseat uh, approach be more of a connector for the team because that's what they needed uh but you know that helped him land to us because I don't think a lot of teams really knew how good he actually is because I think he's about to tear this league up even in his rookie season I don't even think it's crazy for me to say we might get back-to-back -back rookie of the years. Is that crazy, chat? I don't think that's crazy. I don't think that's crazy. What? All right, Louise, we're going to get to that. What the heck did you just say? You just made me excited. All right, moving on. During Castle last game in Vegas, Coach Pop shared his thoughts on the newest Spurs. So, yeah, this is what he had to say. This is what I was talking about. I love his seriousness for such a young kid. I love his pace. You see his expression never change. Yep, just talked about that. And he doesn't get go too fast. He doesn't go too slow. He reads the situations. He's going to be a quick study, I think, and get to play on the court pretty quickly. Yeah, he's going to get his minutes quickly. There are people... Okay, it wasn't people. All right, I, I'm, I'm being hyperbolic. There were, there were a couple folk um, that actually said, oh, he should go to the uh, Summer League. Or not Summer League, I'm sorry, the G League. He should go to the G League because his his three-point shooting has, hasn't been that great. And I'm like, that is a ridiculous statement to make, especially if you watched him play at all in the Summer League. Uh, you pay attention to his game. And I'm feeling really good about my SGA comparison, by the way. Um, on Spurs Invasion, the second channel, uh, I'm losing it. Where's my second channel? I thought I already had it up. Here we go. On my second channel, I actually talked about it. Um, go watch this video in particular. Spurs found their underrated gem. Let me know what you think of it. Um, but in this video, I talked about how uh, I really do believe he could he could grab he could be an SGA type player i mean I, I really do believe that so go check out this channel 
it's it that thing. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. No, I'm sorry. I don't think Castle will get it, especially coming off the bench. Risa Shea or uh, Sar will be getting it more than likely. Sar. We'll have to wait and see. I'm I'm not one of those people that are foolish to say, oh, he's a he's a bust. I don't I don't think any of that. Risa Shea. I'm not as high on Risa Shea as a lot of other people are. Okay, I, I'll just be honest. I've been I've been saying that since the get SGA. Yes, yes. I I I. I I won't say it here, but I did lay out the reasons why I compared him to SGA. At least that's what his ceiling would be. Just go watch the video. I think, I think I at least gave gave some decent points. But you know, you want Spark Notes? It's a lot of comparisons. I mean, his size, his pace, his his defense, his rebound. It's a lot. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I think Castle could get it. We'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, with Sar this season. I think Castle's going to get some pretty decent numbers this year. He get a lot of attention too, playing next to Wimby. He get a lot of attention. Reese's shape. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how much attention he'll get. I think Sar, because he' going to be the main guy for the Wizards, especially after the shakiness with. Who's been pulled? Yeah, I I just think that there, there's gonna be a. I'm not, I, man. I don't want to talk bad about him because I do like Sar a lot, and I thought if the Spurs were to land one, you go with Sar no matter what. Uh, but with that being said, I think Castle just kind of has it already. I don't know how long it's gonna take for Sar to figure out things on the offensive end. While I think that he his potential obviously would be, you know, higher than than Castle's. I think he he definitely is going to have like a learning curve on the offensive end. While Castle, while yes, he needs to improve his three-point shooting, uh, I think he's a better three-point shooter than what we expected, but he, he already has so many things in his back already. Like, I, I think that he is offensively ready to, to cause some havoc. Castle will definitely get all rookie award though. Yeah, it's fine. Chris Paul, Stefan Castle, Devin Fassell, Jeremy Sohan, Victor Wambayama starting predictions. Ugh, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. You you gotta you gotta start you gotta start Barnes. Um I mean initially that's what I thought it was gonna be until we got Barnes. I mean, and what's the point, you know? And there's there's two reasons why you're gonna start Barnes, okay? Number one is because Bar Barnes just deserves it. He's a he's a vet. He, he, yeah, you you're gonna start him. Um, but number two, I think that you start him because he could very well be traded off with Chris Paul and you want him to get those minutes. You want him to start. You want him to look as good as humanly possible so you can, you know, move him and get something in return if that's what you choose to do. Barnes has two years on his contract. Chris Paul is only one. So I guess the Spurs can do what they want, but... In my opinion, I would go ahead and start Barnes for those reasons. Um, and also, I think he just starts better at small forward. And I don't really see the point in starting Stefan Castle when you can allow him come off, coming off the bench and running the bench unit while learning from Chris Paul. I, ju I just don't really see the reason there. Castle is going to steal the rookie of the year after we trade CP3 at deadline. And he starts. That's possible as well. I don't, I don't even remember what this segment started out. What were we talking about? There we go. Oh, man, this situation right here. I won't go into it, but uh, you follow me on Twitter. This pissed me off, man. Misinformation. Good God, people lost their minds. Jeez, that poor, that poor lady. Just for being... A good boxer and having some testosterone. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Um. Anyways, yeah. Stefan Castle. I love him. Pop loves him. We got a good one. It's going to be nasty. Castle, Devin, Barnes, Sohan, Wimby is what I like. But they might play Zach or Sohan. What? What? 
I like it too. I like it too, Huncho. But um, as far as that starting lineup, but uh, no, Chris Paul is gonna start. I don't know if they'll trade Chris Paul though. Who would take a half year, eleven million rental with a trade stipulation, along with record stipulation, a part of uh, the contract? You'll be surprised at that point when you just need that one extra piece to get you over the edge. You'll be surprised. I'm telling Clan this Draymond clip is better than the one you posted. Draymond gets emotional about Clay leaving. Skip 3635. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that right after this. Zach over Sohan me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You might play Zach over Sohan. No. I don't know about that. Castle will be a key part of the success moving forward. Oh dude, Castle Castle is gonna be part of this thing, alright? If you don't believe, if you don't believe Castle is going to be a part of this thing, I, I hock Tua on you, okay? <laughs> Tua. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm sorry. I spit on you. Whoa, that's why I should have, I should have put the, uh, what's the, what's the doggone thing? The latency. I should have, I should have decreased the latency. Hey, yo, I meant spit. I meant like, just, spit. I need to stop. I'm gonna stop right now. Time out clan. I'm, I'm gonna stop right now. I'm sleepy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Bro, what are you talking about? Pause. I'm, st I'm, st I'm done. I'm done. Can't explain how excited I am for the coming season. Me too. Me too, Daniel. Me too. 